first verse I want to share with you all tonight is Psalms 127 and 3. And that says that, Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is His reward. You may not know it tonight, but you're a reward to your parents. Amen. You're their blessing. You're their blessing. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Before we get started here with the lesson, this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I need my teachers to kind of help a little bit. We've got some blankets. And uh, everyone that's uh, 12 years and younger, I want y'all to stand up. If you're 12 years and younger, I want you to stand up. Okay. Uh, teachers, I need y'all to help, please. Can we stay back here with the teenagers? How old are you? 12. 12? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll say 12 and uh, we'll stay back there. But you guys got to move up, though. Because these young ones are coming up here. All right, young ones. We got the markets. Yeah. Rick, we might need them. Who's here with that? would be great. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You've never done this before in church, have you? No, I've never seen this before. No, I haven't done that. Let me tell you where this comes from. When we start talking about this service, I got a picture in my mind of Jesus. And the picture that came up, I don't know if y'all have ever seen it or not, but it's where Jesus is sitting there and all the little children come around him. So if you're younger than 12, let's feel like that. If you're younger than 12, come on up and get you a seat. Wherever. Okay? All right. You grown up to be praying for me, cuz. Well, Only God knows. All right, guys, I gotta get into that seat, okay? I'm a big old boy. All right, you people that's left to the pews, come on down. This is the price is right now. The price is right, because it's free. Salvation is free, thank God. Because we couldn't earn it, that's for sure. Teachers, you all are free, cuz. Oh, I need my Bible. One of the first things that I want to share with you guys is something that I received in the mail. I received it yesterday, and I didn't open it until today. And I thought that because of because of tonight, that uh, this had to be from God. But I got a I got a letter today. Or excuse me, yesterday, I don't want to tell a story. I got a letter today in the mail. Or yesterday, excuse me, I'm sorry. And I opened it today. And it's from Beacon Hill Baptist Church. Y'all know that church? Yeah. That church is down there on 27 right down from the mall. I want you to know that the last time that I was at Beacon Hill Baptist Church, I was 13 years old. I'm 37 years old. For those of you that's not too quick at math, that's 24 years ago. It was the last time that I darkened their door. And I got a letter today from them just want to make sure that I was okay and that they had my correct information. Now, Praise the Lord. I get this from them two or three times a year, and I always have. Thank you, Lord. We got that in common, though. I want us to become that kind of church. You know, the Bible says that if. Uh, if uh, the good shepherd, if he loses one sheep, he goes after that one. And I shared this story with some people before, and I wasn't even planning on going into all this, but I don't know if you all have ever lost anything that's precious to you, but there's been a few times when uh, I've misplaced my wallet, when it had all my money in it. And you talk about breaking out in a sweat and going crazy trying to find that wallet, you know, that's what I did. I oh, i got to find it, you know, that's got my money, you know, it's precious to me. Well, I want you all to know that you all are precious to us. And if one of you all go astray, we ought to get just as concerned. Because God does. You may not feel precious tonight. You may not know that you're cherished, but I want you to know that you are. You're important. Good. All right. Good. That's what we want. We want you to know. But you know, not everybody knows that. So many times the devil will come back and he'll just tell us we're not really anything we're not important, we don't matter, we don't count for nothing. That's a lie. Did you know that the devil cannot tell the truth? 
he can get real close to it and make it sound like it's true. Amen. But he always twists it. He's alive. He's alive. The Bible says that he's the father of all lives. And so, I want you to know not to turn forward. And so one thing I'm going to be asking the teachers to do in their classes is I'm going to be asking them to get draws information. And I want you all to be willing to do that if, if it's all right with your parents. Check with your parents. But if it's all right, I want to get your name and I want to get your address and your phone number and I want us to have your birthday. Okay? Because we want to show you that we care about you. Okay? We want to send you something, a little card or something for your birthday and maybe a little letter from you, you know, every now and then and let you know that we care about you and we're thinking about you and we love you. Okay? And I want you to know that first and foremost tonight, okay? Each and every one of you. Each and every one of you. I want you to know that we love you. Okay? Now, when I was growing up as a kid, I didn't always feel like I was loved. And I know what that's like. But I want each and every one of you to know, each and every one of you are important. And we love you. Okay? And I, I just want you to know that. I want you to get that in your spirit tonight. First and foremost. Okay? And this, like I said, this is a little bit different. I've never done this before. But it's just us here, right? So, if, with your all's permission, I'm going to use my notes because I don't want to miss anything. And uh, I've got quite a bit here that I want to kind of share with you. Like I said, I don't want to miss anything, so it's all right with you all. I want to use my notes. But, oh, I dropped the prayer cloth. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Now, we've already said that uh, you all are a heritage of the Lord. And you are His reward. And your reward to us tonight. You know, when we started this, when we got the idea for this service, we were praying and praying that we'd have a few show up. And we're so thankful that each and every one of you all is here tonight. And we have 22. And I want to share this with you all. The day that we had our first meeting, we asked God for 25 in the church, young people in the church. And we thought that this would be a goal that we would have to achieve maybe in a few months. I don't know if you did any counting tonight, there's 22 here. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have a few sister girls said it's usually here on Wednesday nights so that wasn't able to be here tonight for whatever reason. So, so if you all start coming, we got our 25. I do. And you yeah. already have none. <laughs> and you know what? We're not going to stop at 25. We said that the first one too. You know, we're going to go on to 50 and then 75 and 100. We're believing God for that. Because this is, and this is why we believe that we can achieve this goal. Because we love it. And there's not many places you can go today and find love. Amen. And when you find that love, it just draws you in. And you just want to be a part of it. Because in this world today, it's rare. So we're believing God that we can achieve this goal. We do what we're supposed to do. He'll do what he's supposed to do.